The plural of goose is geese. The plural of moose is moose. The plural of mongoose is mongooses. It's stuff like this that makes the English language so confusing. In this video, I'll explain how the three different plurals came about. Most nouns in English form their plural by adding s. But there are also many exceptions. Some words add es, for example, and some words undergo a vowel change or even a more dramatic change. And then there are other words which don't change at all in the plural, like sheep. Just as there's no rule that governs the plurals of all English nouns, there's no rule that works for all nouns ending in oos either. After looking through some dictionaries, I couldn't find many nouns ending in oos. The most common is certainly goose, with the plural geese. There's moose and mongoose too, of course, which I'll discuss in this video. A noose is an adjustable loop of rope, with the plural nooses. Loose can be a noun in some niche contexts, and has the plural looses. The other words are pretty unusual, or only nouns in specific contexts, and pretty much all seem to have plurals ending in s. Goose is unusual in having the plural geese. Plurals like this, where the vowel sound changes, come about because of the Germanic umlaut, a type of vowel change which occurs in Germanic languages. This means some words, such as goose and foot, which come from Proto-Germanic, have vowel alternations between singular and plural. By tracing the history of the word goose, we can see that it is a Germanic word. The A vowel in the Proto-Germanic word may have changed by the time it becomes an Old English word, but we still see a remnant of it in the English word gander, which means male goose. Now, moose and mongoose are not Germanic words. That's why they don't follow the same pattern as goose in the plural. Let's take a look at the history of those words. English is a language which is spoken in large parts of the world. Although it has influenced many languages worldwide, it also has words which have come from far and wide. Whilst most English words originate on the European continent, either reaching English from Germanic or Romance, the word for moose has a story which begins in North America. Moose are found in North America, Europe and Asia, but generally, moose outside North America are referred to as elk, which is a Germanic word. Moose comes from an Algonquian language. These languages are a group of American indigenous languages. We're not entirely sure which Algonquian language gave us the word moose, but look at the words for moose in these Algonquian languages, and you can see how they could have been adopted into English as moose. In Proto-Algonquian, the common ancestor of the Algonquian languages, the word for moose originally meant it strips, which is a reference to how moose feed stripping the bark from trees. The word mongoose comes from a different part of the world entirely. We can trace this word back to India. Originally, mongoose came from a Dravidian language, such as Telugu, Kannada, or Tamil, and was adopted into an Indic language, such as Marathi. Europeans adopted this word into their own languages, it either came directly to English or through Portuguese. It changed to look more like goose in English because speakers thought it sounded similar to goose and that the words must be related. In fact, English has similar looking words such as bar goose and car goose, which describe types of water bird. So you can see how the confusion would have happened. Neither moose nor mongoose are Germanic words like goose so you wouldn't expect them to have the unusual vowel-changing plural seen in geese. 
But why is the plural of moose, moose, whilst the plural of mongoose is mongooses? Well, it could be related to the type of animal that a moose is. A moose is part of the deer family, and deer, like some other animals in English, is also a word which doesn't change in the plural. That's why it could make sense for moose, like deer and sheep, to be the same in the singular and plural. But it could also be linked to the linguistic history of the words. In Algonquian languages, moose was the same in the singular and the plural, so why not extend this to English? And if mongoose came to English through Portuguese, adding an S to make the word plural matches what Portuguese does. In one of my earlier videos, I explained the plural of octopus. Do you think you know what it is? And in another one, I revealed that the word genius has two plurals. Find out why by watching the video. Are there features of English you always wondered about? Leave a comment. While you're here, like, subscribe and hit the bell icon so you'll get another video from Philologism every week.